<coughs> Caught on set. <coughs> Keep it right. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Barra Wags video vlog number. Don't care. Um, in the last one, you saw Jason go out and give this thing a hiding on track up at Winton. It was Kang. Did mad skids. Um, I feel like Jason needs to be here for this intro. Anyway, the thing blazes. Grip was an issue, as expected. Wasn't on the best tires Zek Nova can provide, so that's gonna be one thing he's gonna be changing for next time. The diff is currently out of the car. As you can see, we got no diff. She gone. So it's back at the diff shop. They've heated it up, bent it. So we're putting in a little bit of camber and a little bit of toe in and chamfering the splines and the axles. And yeah, should be able to get a little bit of more drive out of it. it the thing's got grip, but it's got a thousand Newton meters of torque. So yeah, dropping the pickup points on the diff for the arms and changing the arm bearings or bushes points to polyurethane or something instead of a spherical bearing uh, to get a little bit more wriggle. Try to get this thing to put that tire on the asphalt. It's gonna be an animal when he goes back out. He made a little Ackerman change at the track and said the steering was feeling pretty minty. In this video, we're gonna get it painted, true. So I've been busy welding and grinding and doing all that cool stuff. But yeah, she's gonna get sprayed up, full kit, full everything and looking pretty. I've been doing a lot of metal work, doing these accents on the flares just to give it a little bit of something, something. Cut out the doors, filled in the doors. I need some bog just to smooth it out. Yeah, coming up pretty good. Same as this side. Same, 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 same. Fronts, same, same shit. Just a little bit of something, something, so it's not a harsh, harsh edge there. Just makes it look a bit nicer. It's gonna be hard to picture it until it's all bogged, smoothed, one color. Deleting reflector holes. The bonnet's pretty good to go. I've primed that and I've bogged and shaved that. The roof is going to need a lot of work. It had a uh, roof rack screwed down to it. We rusted out holes, which I have welded up and rust converted. So yeah, you're gonna need some bog and nasty. It's got like nasty paint on it that needs to be taken off. It's gross. Interior dash is out, but started to finalize some of the wiring. Put in another relay that's gonna be for the front window to mister. Yeah, just buttoning up stuff, pulling out all the raw aluminium like that. Battery mount. The cover for the fuel cell, all the raw aluminium is gonna go off for powder coating. Eh, eh. I gotta finish up the bash bar. It's gonna be it's gonna be another one down the bottom there, another row. We're gonna do some fancy stuff. Got some billet roll cage joiners that we're gonna be putting in it and doing stuff, because stuff. I'm tired. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some bog work. So I'm gonna begin to start to mold the flares into the panels. Throw on 10 kilos of bog at this thing. So it's smooth. Just in case you forgot how sexy the engine bay is on this thing. Oof. Also with the diff being out, we've also got all the Shockworks shocks out. They're going back to Shockworks to get revalved. Gonna go a lot softer. So basically when they're on full soft, that's gonna be full hard on the new valving. And then we can go even softer from there because it's not that soft. Soften it up a bit. So the rear guys, I mean, molding in. Um, they're not quite finished yet. Getting there, starting to look good. Getting there. Starting to look like they're meant to be there. So that's Karen. Front bash bar is all tacked up. So had to make this obviously to hold the lip and front bar on so you can't fit the kit without the bash bars. So Corey had like a top bar made, um, just roughly. So I 
chopped in these roll cage joiners just for mad flex. This section here stays put, it bolts on back there, but basically the rest of it will drop down. Um, so you can replace the sides or whatever if it gets damaged. And yeah, it looks pretty gangster. It basically allows this to come out as well because before when this was all one piece, this top uh, couldn't actually get it out past the cooler without pulling everything out. So pretty cool, looks pretty angry. And it fits real snug in the top of the uh, front bar and then the bottom bar fits real snug in this lip for protection. I'm gonna go whip these out and see if that section will just pop down or if it's just fully warped and won't work. But we will see. There you have it. Bash bar attachment piece and other piece. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I like it. I, don't, I like that too. It's like a clip on piece. Yeah. Haven't seen something like that before. So I'm gonna go weld this all up and hopefully it goes back on. All right, bit of an update on the paint prep. The flares are pretty much all finished now. Ready for primer. Deleted the reflector holes, uh, not the side indicators. Yeah. <laughs> Getting there. Just laid down a heap of paint strip on the roof because it had lots of flaky, nasty paint on it that would not sand. So she bubbling away. That's gonna be a mission, but getting there. The front end, was, I finished that up um, with the bash bar and the front bar and the front lip and stuff. So that's all good to go. Yeah, hey, progress, gotta do the side skirts. The rear bars that I'm mocking up, so standard 31 rear bar, and then this is a R34 add-on, which we're gonna make work. Boy! Mini's paint and panel's actually gonna be spraying it. He's reached out and offered to spray her up, so we're gonna do that. Um, Jason was wanting to spray it himself, but can't say no to I getting Mini to give it a bloody professional job. Still gonna be in the industrial mix, I believe, in one of the purples, I'm not sure which. I believe I'll be primering the majority of the car and sanding it back. Mainly just the bogged and raw metal areas. Shut your ass, Corey. <laughs> Pulled the mirrors off. Jason's got some fancy boy mirrors. And I'm not gonna show you yet, so uh, bad luck. You have to wait. <laughs> They're kind. So I, I had the rear end all mocked up, fitted up. Now I got the rear apron over here, moving the exhaust outlet from there over to there, as you can see. Chop, chop, switcheroony. Now I'm gonna lay some fiberglass in there. Get some layers of fiberglass in there and then a bit of bog on the other side to smooth it out. You take it this piece and you put it there and you take it that piece and put it there. Oh, you've already swapped them? Yes. Oh. <laughs> right. Anyway, fiberglass. Cut up the matting first, the size I want, mix up the resin, lay it in. I hate doing this. This stuff is mega itchy. Ugh. Update. Hey, that's it. Uh. Hey. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Been doing lots of sanding and all that on this thing. It's getting there. Um, taking it down to Mini's paint and panels tomorrow. Arvo, yeah, he's gonna be spraying the colour and priming most of the car for us. I have got the front fenders, the bumpers and stuff that need priming down in another factory. I'm about to spray them with some primer just to help me out and give them a sand tomorrow. Um, but the body of the car, I'm gonna get him to 
prime because too much effort, too hard in a factory. So yeah, shout out Mini's paint and panel. This thing's gonna be looking insane by the end of this video. The disc back in, which is good. The new braided lines, removed them from out of the tubs here. Got them a bit more out of uh, arm's way there. We got the new arms coming with the rubber bushes to get more flexi buoys. The diff guys have bent the diff and apparently put a chamfer on the axles to take it, but they've bent it and put a degree of camber in each side, negative camber, to help create more side bite when you're on entry. You get a flatter contact patch on the tire. They've straightened the toe out, so before I had one and a half to two mil of total toe out, now it's gonna be either zero toe or a little bit of toe in, which should be sick. So it should have all the grips. Jason's got some R1 tires instead of the R4s, the Novas. 140 tread wear instead of a 240 tread wear. They'd be hooking up, hooking up. Zeknova hooks up the tires, yeah, cheers. Take his down to the factory. We'll spray some primer. Just got some rattle can stuff. It's good stuff though, 2K. So keen to get this thing on the trailer and down to Mini so I don't have to look at it or do any more of this damn bodywork stuff. It's a drainer, too. Panels primed that you've seen in a short little time lapse. Laid down like three or so coats on there. Still got a numb finger from holding the can down, but I've rubbed back these panels here with uh, well, all the primed panels with 500 grit. It's nice and smooth. Fenders look sick. That's as far as I'm going with it. Didn't get as much as I would have liked done, but. Time to take it to Mini, let him finish the job. Got all the bumpers and stuff in the trusty old Tez, so yeah, all this has been rubbed back. All this is basically ready for paint. Um, but yeah, there's still a little bit of work to do on the Wagoon. Priming the filler areas, priming the roof, rubbing it back. So sorry Mini, but it's your problem now. Mass handball. So get this thing out, get her on the trailer, and uh, this will be the last time you see it in this colour, maybe. Don't know. It's going to be hot though. It's going to be real hot. You probably would have already seen the car if you came down to December 10 anyway. Because he's going to be driving it there. Just dropped the wagon off down at Mini's Paint and Panels in Werribee. Huge shout out to Mini. Of course, hooking us up. But I uh, forgot to film anything when I was there. But uh, yeah, we'll cut straight to when one of us go pick the car up and she's in her glory. And then it'll be back to the factory. Final assembly, making her pretty, slap some stickers on it, ready for December 10 drifting. So, yee yee. All right guys, we're down at Mini's Paint and Panel. Um, I've been giving him a hand last Thursday and today. Just uh, prepping the wagon Thursday and starting to put her back together today. But yeah, she's looking pretty sick. They're just finishing up a few things at the moment, so we'll go in and take a look. Keen to get her back to the factory and start getting her together, getting her ready. Filming on my phone because I forgot one of the GoPros, but don't at me. We have a chat to Minnie. He's a sick dude, helps us out with heaps of the giveaway cars, whether it's open door resprays or body kits. He's always helped us out, so. This paint job's one of the more uh, track spec jobs, considering I did most of the prep work, and uh, yeah, she a bit more of a slap me together, but looks pretty gangster. We're gonna have a bit of a geezer. Oof, the body kit. Oof. Giving up these trims, a bit of a freshen up. Oof. Here she is. Brand new. Mate. Brand new.
Thanks, brother. Three. There she is, huh? Ready to get destroyed. Drew! We're back at the factory. Got the Hurt Wagoon in here. And it's time to reassemble, which is pretty damn exciting. I've been putting random bits and pieces back together, all the rubber seals on the doors, door handles, door locks, all that good stuff. Um, I stick a flex these trims back on both sides. Got some gas struts front and back on. Got some headlights in. Oof. Yeah, just ticking along, piecing it together bit by bit. I'm gonna get these wheels off it real soon because I'm pretty bloody sick of looking at them. They're gross. We've got everything back from powder coating, so we'll go take a look at that. And I'm gonna start getting the bash bars on, front and rear, grill, get the front together. Might get the front bar and lip on the. Probably gonna put the whole body kit, and wheels, everything together. I need to see it, I need to see it looking cool. Got the wing to go on, got a bucket load of these trims to put on, which I'm not looking forward to, all around the windows, all around the windscreen. Half tempted to just get the windscreen guy to come door more, but yeah, she's got some racy mirrors to put on. Oof, got to block off that. All the inside interior, so the fuel cell cover, these covers, it's all been powder coated, the battery mount, the dash and all that. So I got some work to do. It's Tuesday, car's gonna be done by Thursday night. Uh, for Friday night drifts on Friday. We head there Friday morning, so this thing's going to be on a trailer Thursday night. Still need to get the rear end realigned after we drop the pickup points for the arms. Haven't been able to get the new arms with the rubber or poly bushings to replace the heim joint bush arms yet. So that's going to have to wait until after Friday night drifts. Still waiting on them. Chances are you've already seen it down at Friday night drifts, if you went, but we'll go check out the stuff that we got back from powder coating. True. Here we have all the shit, so rear bash bar, front bash bar, gangster roll cage joiners, we've got the costal bash plate for the, under the motor, some block off panels, the big fuel cell cover, the IC7 dash mount, battery mount, switch panel mount, the wing, which needs to bolt together. So yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna start carting some stuff down and getting it on. All right, front end's taking shape. Headlights, grill, bash bar. Oof, looks pretty gangster. I gotta get these wheels off now. I can't stand them anymore. I can't do it. All right, making some sick progress. Um, got the rear bash bar as well as the front bash bar. Man it up, tail lights are on there. We got the wheels on, finally. Couldn't stand looking at it with those ugly ass wheels on it. So I had to get the silver old can size. She's looking fat. Oof. So need to dial in the rear, so the fitment's probably not exactly where it's gonna be sitting in the rear, but damn, son. That's hot. Looking good. Damn, son. Nugget. Is don't remember if I showed the front bar or not. <laughs> the front bar, oof. Mirrors, oof. Looking spicy. Show you it all when the thing's complete, really. But getting shit done, starting to clean up the interior, getting some dash bits back in, getting her spicy. Starting to get the wing together. That bottom apron's actually for an R34, but yeah, it's on that 34. 
I made it fit before it went to paint, which I don't know if I've shown, but Woo! damn. We've been grinding on the wagon. Me and Jay's here till nine o'clock last night, smashing it out, getting it done. Um, started putting some trims on and stuff, which I'll show you when the car's on the ground, but I got the five inch rear section done. Oof, nice pike cut, turn down tip. It's a bit ghetto at the moment, because um, I just chopped up and used the three inch out of the existing exhaust, because we don't have any new three inch. And then our reducer didn't come in time, so Pulse gave us what he had, so it's a three to three and a half, and a three and a half to four and a half, and that to slot and fold the five inch down to the four and a half. So it's ghetto as Falcon, but she'd be raw. And then yeah, we, we just don't have time to put a nice finish, polished and burnt finish on that. So we'll do that after the event, but she's in there. Jace will be in shortly and we'll start her up and have a listen, but I'm you gonna know, drop her down. Gave things service. Got the bash plate on there. Jason Corey got bigger 350Z rotors on there. They're, they were 320 mil instead of a 297 mil rotor because it's got the Z33 350Z calipers on there. Um, but Corey had to machine down like a 10 mil time, so they're 310 now. They're 310 now the for the line. clearance because Shuey's knuckles are made to suit R33 calipers and rotors. But Jace tried two times. And the first time they were R32 calipers and the second time they're 350Z calipers. So I made them work with standard R33 rotors, but Jace wanted the big boys on them. No, it was only because the, the whole brake pad wasn't touching the rotor and he was a bit iffy about that. So now the whole brake pad touches the rotor. I, I, I honestly agree with you, like they were fine. Like look how much, that's a good contact patch on the rotor. But anyway, he's got, 15 mil bigger diameter rotors on there. Good on him. <laughs> Fresh powder coated a costal bash plate. Ready to harash some more when Jace flies off track. It's been to Marcus, got an alignment. He corrected a few things as he always does. Shout out traction tires, Marcus McCarthy's work. Letting us align this beast after hours. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it's a me, <laughs> Mama Luigi. Okay. The wax is pretty much complete. It's done. Kinda. All the trams are on. It's looking sexy. Teasers. Give you a quick little look in here. Jace is just putting on the temp livery stickers. All the people that helped out. Support the boys. For, for the Friday night drifts that hopefully you were at, but interior, got the block off plates and stuff in. It's looking way too nice in here for a drift car. Got all the door cards on. Yeah, it looks mental, to be honest. Rear door cards. Still waiting on another harness, so you got the ghetto harness in there. A quick little look at the front end oof tease is true but i think the next video is going to be a um, full breakdown of the build and reveal and all that so i won't go into too much detail the finishing touches and then drift time boy it's time to ruin it straight away we'll probably not film anything just like we did today film no, nothing like we'll go straight hey, out been, been a, i'm rubbing off on you been a big week <laughs> i'm destroyed <laughs> Jeez. It's all been happening. Jason reckons he's gonna throw it straight into a wall and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I really want him to just not ruin it. The We're first definitely event. pretty low if you look at that right there. <laughs> front. What happened? And the front we already got a little bit of scrubbage and then it somehow got lower. As well. <laughs> I've been telling Jason all week, oh, it's pretty low on the front. I don't know if you wanna raise it. Nah. I like it. He was complaining it was too high on the front last time. And I'm like, oh, it's pretty low. Might ruin the guards. And then, day before drift event, Jason goes, oh, it's pretty low on the front. Really? Yeah, he's, there we are. The banter's definitely been strong today. <laughs> Jasky's been getting a little bit upset. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll wrap up tomorrow, true? Yeah. 
You'll have to wait till the next video to hear the Kang 5 inch butt. Damn, son. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds Kang. Thanks for watching. Like that ass. Subscribe that ass. Watch the VL build. See you next time, Gary. Hey.